We begin with solving logarithms, and we're going to start off with some easy examples. Of course, uh, we will be employing uh, many times throughout this video, ELB. The exponent is the logarithm of the base. Uh, so we will do the same thing for here right now. We have the exponent will be 2. The base will be 4. And this simplifies to just x equals 16. Lovely. B. We want to get the x by itself, and it's in the exponent. And if we were to try to do the uh, make the bases the same, it's not going to work out. So we're going to go ahead and do L on this. The exponent is the logarithm of the base. Now, unfortunately, most of you don't have a calculator that can take care of this. So we're going to do what's called the change of base, which was one of the properties that we had listed in the previous video. And the change of base is going to make it so that I can do this. I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to make this and make it into log base 10. So the common logarithm. You could also do the natural logarithm. You could do any logarithm you want. And when I do the change of base, the argument becomes the argument of the numerator and the base becomes the argument of the denominator. And what I'm doing now is I'm doing a base 10. But it's common log, so I'm not going to put those 10s here at all. If I were to put this in a calculator, I'd put log 7 over log 2. And it comes out to be approximately about 2.8. I encourage you to check that out. As far as I'm concerned, be comfortable with both. Be comfortable with expressing this as a change of base. And be comfortable with also getting the decimal value. We encounter a similar problem, except this some of the x is uh, in the exponent, but there's an 8 in front. We'll subtract the 8 from both sides to get the x by itself. And of course we could do we could do this a couple of ways, right? We could go ahead and do this with the same basis. Or we could do this with logarithms. The exponent is the logarithm of the base. And if you were to put, uh, and it's, it's a common log, right? So it's essentially log, uh, just a regular log, 1,000. So if you were put, to put log 1,000 in the calculator, you would get that the answer is 3. Okay, so this was a nice problem because we could do it a couple of different ways. We'll divide both sides by 4. So in the previous problem, we subtracted because, uh, because it was positive. In this case, it's being multiplied, so the uh, opposite of that would be division. 16 divided by 4 is 4. And we do ELB. The exponent is the logarithm of the base. However, log base E is also known as the natural logarithm. So this is the answer. If I wanted a decimal value, I'd put it in the calculator. And I'd, I'd type in natural log 4. And I would get a, a, a value of approximately 1.386. Here we have a case of different bases, and not only that, we also have different, um, we have the variable in different exponents. So, what we're going to first do is we're going to go ahead and pick a, a log. So, we're going to put, we're going to do a log to both of these sides. So, I'm going to do log 7x minus 1 equals log 3 2x. So, this is, this is a common log, base 10, right? You can do this with natural log. You can do it with any log you want. I'm going to do log, just a regular common log because it's easiest. I noticed that these are exponents, and so I'm going to go ahead and drop them to the front. We're going to go ahead and distribute. So I'm going to distribute this to both. I want to combine this x with this x. I'm going to end up moving this to the other side. And to do that, I will subtract, right? 
I'm going to write it up here. So I have negative log 7, 2x log 3, minus x log 7. So what I'm doing is I'm subtracting x log 7 from both sides. I can't subtract this from this term because it's not the same argument. Okay, so you have to keep them separate. I'm going to factor, right? Both of these have an x. I'm trying to get the x by itself. So I'm going to factor out the x. 2 log 3 minus log 7. And then I want to get the x by itself, so I divide both sides. So this is where, even this is one, you know, this is requiring quite a bit of uh, algebra. You have to be decently comfortable with your algebra. This got really messy, so sorry about that. Here's what it looks like. So we have x equals negative log. 7 over 2 log 3 minus log 7. That's the official answer. If we were to put this in the calculator, we're going to get about negative 7.7 .7 as the answer. Okay. You can always, of course, when you get these answers, you could always plug them in, right? I mean, plug it in here and plug it in here. And both sides should come out to be the same answer. So that's the nice thing about these kinds of problems. If you want to check, you definitely can. And you're encouraged to, right? Same thing with the previous problems in problem one. Problem three. Let's order these from least to greatest. To do so, we first would go ahead and uh, let's do a change of base because we don't have a calculator that can do this. So notice base 5, base 6, base 7, the calculator can't do those. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm missing a base over here, base 2. I'm going to go ahead and change all of these to uh, base 10 because your calculator does it base 10, right? That's a common log. So we have expressed all of these by using the change of base property. Notice that uh, there's a log in the numerator and a log in the denominator. The bases for these are going to be base 10. That's why they're not showing. Putting these in the calculator, we get the following approximations. And I'll leave it to you to arrange them from least to greatest, of course. The least looking uh, like this one right here. The greatest looking like this one right here. We've done this already in class, but just for kicks, I wanted to go ahead and, and present this to you right now in case you missed the memo. So we would make set this equal to x. We would do alb on this. You would notice the bases are the same, and therefore x equals 1. This is a base 10, common log. Doing elb, we get a similar expression. You would recall this point, that as long as the base is the same as the argument, that uh, the when you evaluate this, it will be equal to 1. However, I'm going to make the distinction that this has been true because all of these had a power of 1. So for this one here, right, natural log is a log base e. If I do elb, I get e to the x equals e, and therefore x equals 1. Let's see what happens with d, where we have a power. Remember that if we have a power, it's going to go ahead and go to the front. And I can divide both sides by 2. And I get log e, e equals x over 2. Sorry, I'm going all over the place with this. And then I would do l, so I would get e x over 2 is equal e to the 1. At this point, you could just say, okay, well, 1 over 2 is 1, right? Well, if I multiply both sides by 2, I get x equals 2. That, folks, was overkill. Because if we know that x equals 2, if the base and the argument are the same number, 
the exponent of the argument is the answer. We just proved that. So for E, it would be safe to say that the answer is E. Right? Because that is what the power is. The exponent is. That's, of course, because this has a base E and the argument is E. Okay? So if we're looking at F, base is the same, argument is the same, and so if I do all the hokey pokey in this, you're going to get the exponent as the answer. And if you don't believe me, try it out. Try it out. Same thing with G, right? So, here's the important part. What rule can be formed about log xx to the a power? Well, simply this. Log xx to the a power equals a. Okay? A. Summary. So the change of base, I want you to go ahead and have, take some time to reflect on its use.